So, new shell had a release a week ago but I just today read the change logs, and something super cool is a new DU command! Let me quickly show you why this shell is pure magic! Because this is a Flatpak size D2, I will again go inside Flatpak apps directory like the original episode! Running ls inside here and we see 30 Flatpak apps! But we want to see the size really, so, du, and I will sort by size! Size is just the column name, nothing special! Note this took lots of time but we are going to see lots of numbers! In any case I cut the waiting with my super video editing skills! So look at those! If this ain't Flatpak size D, then what is it? And Omox is a king dragon with 12 gigabytes, and I don't even use it! Now, if we want to see the total size we can say, du, and then get the size column! And send it to some function! And we get a total of 27 gigabytes for just 30 flat pack apps without counting the runtimes. That arises a question, what's the average flat pack app size? All we have to do is to replace some function with average. It returns in bytes, so that means 867 megabytes per app. Not bad! If we want to use the native du command, we can escape with caret. And now we see only 4 gigabytes! Basically new shell du command is bugged, and I think it tries to calculate the symbolic links too, and perhaps that's why it takes so much time! Oh, and one last thing! There is some work for adding a FCF plugin for auto completions! Seriously! After so many years, this project may change the shell in Linux forever! Speaking of which, let's go back to time in Linduke! So he has this video how to run a DOS web server that for Linduke standards DOS is like science fiction, 200 years jump to future! And for 20 minutes he reads 5 commands and 3 screenshots from his blog without showing actually anything! You really need to watch this, original Linduke tutorial, it is a pure cult!